Your daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies from berry bitty seed to full size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good. But it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. to 3.75. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? What was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. All I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. Muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh -huh. Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. Triple check the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. 
What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, Go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. Uh, uh, oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible. I planted daisy seeds. <gasps> Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. You did everything right. Best crop of corn I've seen. That should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> Nice corn! Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen! Boy, it is big! Hi, Berrykins! Hi, Hi Strawberry! Nice corn! So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well,. I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> that's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry.
No. The plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably... Corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grove Super-Sized Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental super-sized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official Daisy Seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> oh, no! Great so. <laughs> we all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. <laughs> well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, oh, that's that's okay. Okay. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh my! We are pretty bitty. And this corn pop's very big. Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, oh. I think so. You're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? Okay, let's move about!
proper way, I believe. Oh, no! Whoa! thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear, ear of corn ladder! ladder. Yeah! <laughs> from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> They should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. Sweet, 
whistle while you think happy thoughts. Don't let anybody take away your sunshine. Fly kite and run around. And turn a frown upside down. Find your sparkle, shine your light. Come on, sing it loud. Life is sweet. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters! As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wonderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There it is, the one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, Mary Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich. The shape just so, the texture. Oh, amazing! Oh, and the aroma! Oh, yes! Perfect in every way! Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pet, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see yeah, if you yeah. 
Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, Harder! You can do it! Come on, Ooh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, uh. that's it! This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! Is everyone...
everything all right? The Berry Kids tell me that... Oh. Oh. My. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Kim Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true, quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yeah. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Will do. do. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. What's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but <sighs> which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You 
can do it, Pupcake. There you go. Come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yay! But first... First, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever. Forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like men.
Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait! Don't you want to see the new issue of Very Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed. Not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of... Mm, sad. Well, no, I mean... Look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams! That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom. A vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. Good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. 
Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses, bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness, how catchy are these um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things, things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert. And that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay. But, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. <gasps> I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh, well... Think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Oh. Uh, Merba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh. What? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, 
that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on, we may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they tough and to get could they only if. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they tough the to get could they only if. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> uh, 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 oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, uh worried about? Uh, well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did! Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. Stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> Instead of doing it all alone, maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in very many world. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and Miss Orange has been taking her merchandise and snacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take 
and running, uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it, then. See you later! A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh. Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm. I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <sighs> Tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. Rang. Are you in there? Oh, oh, I'll be right there! <gasps> huh? Oh no, wait! I'm shrinking it at as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Merang, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. Hm? I've never seen anything like this. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh! Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh! to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell uh. me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. 
even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Bloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop of what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my Tower of Fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! Must be pretty important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... Yeah, 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 but... Thank you. <laughs> huh, quick, turn him around. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, now how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but... But not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Da! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? 
Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, Strawberry Shortcake. I, Strawberry Shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Berry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeedy Bug. Ah! Here, let me. <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why? Why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum. Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh. <laughs> right. Stamps. 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 No! Oh. <laughs> that was me. Stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. Fragile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh! Special delivery! Wait! How about a nice... Don't drop this package! Oh! Oh! Here's a... Sorry! Doesn't live here anymore! Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. <laughs> Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Lockface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Psst, strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon. 
I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry. Please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh, ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard? So I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered, I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. JD Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard that the storm we had the other night, it blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly, for certain. Oh, well, 
What can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, um, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? Huh? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. 
Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say, not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Very Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> well, that's me. This is for you and happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Very best friends forever. We never let each other down. As long as we're together. Pardon me. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm going to have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they'd put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. <laughs> I have a book with tips on hostessing. Somewhere up here. Good! I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah. 
like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and booty hat soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh me, oh my, you even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh yes, but <laughs> you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I'm nice to you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. It is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. It's not. Yeah, uh huh. It's so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. <laughs> Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug, uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're gonna be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh, just... <laughs> Great stuff! 
brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum. Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Coming. Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. <laughs> Encourage them. <laughs> so, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, oh, boy! You must be having a great time! Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. Huh? Mm. Better in you. Nah. -uh. uh huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> uh, how do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best. Friends forever, ever, 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 ever. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other. surprise of the performance before cabaret night. Do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, 
My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. of the little rabbit, who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard, Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and, and, those twins. <laughs> Mr. Longface! I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, uh, I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. Huh. Oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of 
have a... I'm just a... a full up! Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Melonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey! I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... by... Why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. We were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, uh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Very best friends forever. We never let each other down. As long as we're together, things will always turn around. A city girl. to take our chance In the end it's always worth it So make your move and do your dance You might get lost but it's okay When you've got your friends you find your way back home Sweet home, home. Memories are made and fairies are grown Home sweet home A place you can always call your own But I must admit, I'm not sure what a berry fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, don't forget the honey days. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the girl? Yeah, it'll be great. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh. And twirl the berry fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the berry fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the blitz. Uh, Blurkles! Get all the wings! Spaghetti! Oh, the buffet! Before, after... I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. 
It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's Billy Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. See you bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands. You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh no, look at the time. I I'm late to pick up the petals from my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Ah, oh, well. Hi, Strawberry. Uh, where's Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berrykins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help them, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> Sorry, girls, but I'm 
swamped with projects for this parade. Perhaps I can come back later and help all of you. Or better still, perhaps you three could help each other. Sorry, I'm in over my head. I have this entire map to read you, in pen. And my dance has a hippity right where there should be a hop. And these flowers aren't going to string themselves. <sighs> All right. Raspberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's going on? Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown, please? <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. <sighs> I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right, then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other, speed things up. <laughs> Well, since you're here, you could help me, <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go, bye! <sighs> I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last, but it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait. That's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. We like what we do and do what we like. Don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit. Baton twirling. Mm, yep. Mm. Working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, 
strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your old route. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See? She likes mine best. Uh-uh. Not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful. Not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my back! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is oh, garland. No. This is no fun. So there. Yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kinda let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <gasps> what a great leader. 
<laughs> Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now, she's left us! <laughs> I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait, that voice is real! <gasps> Look, a bear! <gasps> hey! Over here! Well, we've just got to save her. Come on, everyone! you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess.
me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all gonna look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a, a croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> this could be a new look for us. I'm so sorry. Oh, here, let me. Oh, I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. Okay, hold still. There, got it. No, it's great. It looks great. It's never looking better. I love it. it sure does. Perfect. Ooh, thanks. Huh? Oh, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I made us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. That... Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface. Uh, oh. Okay, down, please. He... <sighs> <sighs> I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's nice. Fun. Really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, there's, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, sure. Scissors. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. Oh, hello, friend Berrikins, and thank you for coming to my rescue. Hmm, no problem. At your service! Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? I love this oh, it's really beautiful, beautiful day. Oh. <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry.
Ooh, Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? Ta-da! Welcome to Lemon's new salon, where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The Salonomatic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the salon o -matic. In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. the way you do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! Me, 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 me! Incredible. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing. They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow. Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, 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 Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing. Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming friends. Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things, as well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> my new automatic clean matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean o -matic. Hey, does anybody need a, uh, you know, trim, a manicure, anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, nope. we're good. Thanks, Lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! Yes! <laughs> okay. Well, then. Uh, bye, I guess. What can I do for you? New hairstyle? Manicure? <laughs> oh, no. I just wanted to see how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I borrow the cleanomatic next? Of course. Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious. What do you think? Yum. Mmm. Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemons are natural. I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no 
bedtime. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone, and we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean... How many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. Lemon Meringue's Ferry Boat is open for business! <laughs> Step right aboard! There you go! Oh, watch your step, please! All ashore! There you go! Oh, watch your step, please! Goodbye! Delightful trip! Thanks, Lemon! Thank you, Lemon! That was wonderful! We'll be back! Wow! Another picnic? Sure. We decided to have picnics across the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Us? We? Uh, oh, we wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello hi. Hi. Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Ah! Oh, no! Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the salon o did to us! Oh no! Quick! Back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Wow! <gasps> now it won't even do anything! What a bust! Boy, 
it sure is a good thing we caught you in time. Can you help us? At your service! But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave! Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One. The machine is lousy at conversation, and boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers, and it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst. It never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your ferry. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, no! Oh, my. Sorry, Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's croquet club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss 
Meringue. Oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. <laughs>